way to start the morning. Lights are on, as you guys can see in the back. I might have been speeding a little bit, and the uh, sheriff got me. He was sitting in a church with his lights off, and I popped over a hill and he got me. I knew it was happening. I just, I slowed down, and hopefully he's nice to me. But most likely it's not, because I was doing, I was going pretty quick. To just make this day even better, there's uh, two guys parked. So, I know where this, there's a, I don't know if you guys can see, there's this handle. But there's, and it's black, I know you guys can't see, but there's a truck parked right here. And I'm running extremely late, and there's another truck parked up the way. So, uh, you, everybody out there that thinks that, you know, people that hunt private, you know, just have thousands and thousands of acres all of themselves. Well, at least me, I don't. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do here. We've got a southwest wind, and I don't want to bump anybody because they're here first, and that's disrespectful. <sighs> I'm going to figure something out and go from there because I can't just not hunt. It's November 2nd. Might just sneak into the woods a little bit and just try my luck. Just passed a really nice eight pointer. I was actually texting the guys about this morning. And uh, maybe I should turn around. Oh, you guys could probably see him in the GoPro. There was a doe and a fawn that came up right behind me. She didn't blow or anything, but. I'm in a pretty small tree. There's not really anything around me that's... I'm going to fix my bridge real quick. Get a little tighter to the tree. But there's really nothing around me that... Um, that can cover me up. Alright, it's almost noon. I think I'm going to... The wind's starting to pick up and swore a little bit, so... I've seen quite a few deer. Uh, one decent buck, uh, eight point, at about 15 yards this morning. Busted me in the tree. He got he got my wind. I mean he he seen me in the tree. I'm only about I don't know 15 foot off the ground. So I'm in this tiny tree. There's just nothing around here that's big enough to put myself in. So but he circled downwind and he got me. All right, it's probably gonna take me about 10, 15 minutes to tear all this stuff down, and then another probably 10, 15 minutes to get to the truck. And half an hour to eat, warm my feet up, and then we're gonna go back to the woods, so. See you later. Wish I would've took some clothes off. Should've done. Are you kidding me? Twenty yards. Just an absolute stud. Oh my. Alright, we're not we're hunting that boy. It's 
tonight. Screw walking all the way to the back. We've jumped 150 inch or not even 20 yards. We're talking like 15 yards from me. He was right there, right behind that tree. And he gets up. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness the GoPro is running. light and I'm still sweating like crazy but I'm gonna hunt my first time back in here this is a pre-hung set obviously it's actually the first hanging hunt the first non-hanging hunt that I've hunted so we still got plenty of time I'm gonna climb up this bad boy hopefully kill a monster we'll see what happens
Right. Oh my, this is the first sick for me in this stand. I have killed two good deer out of this stand. What a beautiful eight point. Oh my gosh, I'm so freaking pumped. Oh my. Dude. Oh my gosh. I had deer all over me. I don't know if I have boogers in my nose or I got dry skin, but who cares? Oh my, I had deer all over me this morning. Okay, I got set up. I forgot how long it takes to get back here because it's all this the whole way. And I got to the stand and it was still pretty dark, but then I realized I had to put my harness on. I had to put on another jacket. I had to put on a vest and then I climb up the tree. I forgot that I'm in a beech tree that's bigger than my house oh my so I, I i i couldn't get the camera i had to take a deer strap and use like a like a pole rope kind of to get my camera arm on oh i can't even think straight oh, and then i hear a coon monkeying around behind me i never got any footage of the coon because there were so many deer around me here comes a fawn and anytime during the rut you see a fawn by itself just start paying attention because normally mom is somewhere being tended by a buck or bucks harassing the older does. And then here comes another fawn and another fawn. I had three fawns in front of me. I'm like, all right, there's got to be a buck around here somewhere with mom. Up in the distance, I could see deer flashing in between the trees and what, probably a couple hundred yards. Finally, I got I got a good glimpse of him. Just a, just a good eight point, just a good deer. And he was monkeying with some does up there. And I had these, these fawns were in front of me for 20 minutes, half an hour. And then here comes a big doe and a fawn. And oh, I got nervous because that big doe was at 20 yards. And, and, and then I look up and here he comes. He's coming down and I'm trying to self film. I'm running this bad boy. I would not recommend this kind of lens if you're self filming, but the quality I think is a little bit better, but I'm not going to get into that. But Basically, I, I threw her on uh, automatic or autofocus because I didn't want to deal with the manual focus. And the footage isn't the greatest, but, I, dude, it's self-filmed Ohio rut. Just a big eight-point baby. And, and, dude, this, guess what? I'm going to freaking Missouri. <sighs> Missouri or Kentucky? Who's going with me? Who's going with me? Oh, my. I got a whole week off. I've got seven days to go kill another one. Oh, oh my. All right, dude. Oh my. What? <laughs> so he comes in and I'll, I'll explain the shot and everything. So so he comes in, he, he, this, this fence right here that you guys could see a little bit in the footage, that's the property line. I can't shoot anything over the property line because that's just not how I am. I actually have seen tons of deer on the neighboring property that I could have shot, but I'm not that kind of guy. So don't, you know, always, always, always be ethical in the woods. But enough of the dad speech. So he finally comes over the fence and he pushes this doe and I'm getting nervous because I got a bow in one hand trying to, and I got my, <laughs> everything I do is like so difficult to self film. I've got a back tension release, so it's not strapped to my wrist. So I'm trying to figure out how to hold the back tension. My stupid rubber band in here broke, so I have to manually set it. 
So I'm trying to I'm trying to do everything, and, and I put it right on top of that doe where I thought he was going to walk through. He walked a little bit higher. I drew back. Actually, I bleated before I drew back, and then I drew back, and I looked at the screen a couple times, and I was kicking myself because I wanted his rack in the picture, but self-filming, Ohio rut, after last year's debacle of having so many encounters and just never throwing an arrow at a mature deer, I, I had to, I had to. So just a big old eight point, big main beams. So I shot a little high, um, no excuses. I just rushed his shot a little bit because he was on camera and I was actually holding, I was waiting for his shoulder to step forward before I shot. And um, I ranged the fence at 25 yards and I was being stupid and I, I was aiming for 25 and he was probably at like 18, you know, cause he was a couple yards in front of that fence, maybe 19 yards. So I should have just, you know, I only shot a couple inches or I shouldn't say, I don't know how high I shot. I haven't watched the footage yet, but I shot high because of that. Oh my gosh. I had, I've had, I mean this, by all means, I'm not the kind of guy that's, oh, it's not the biggest deer in the world. I am happy. If he gets you excited, that's all that matters. That's all that matters if he gets you excited. It doesn't have to be a 200 incher. But yesterday I had probably a 150 at 20 yards. And a week a weekend before I had a 160 at 20 yards. And just, oh, I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Just a big eight point. That's, that's two eight points in a row for me. Whew. All right, I'm going to get down and finally get my hands on him and see what he looks like. All right, I just made a couple calls. My dad's heading his heading this way to help me get him out. Hopefully, the neighboring property lets me drive my truck uh, on the edge of his hayfield. He did uh, two years ago when I shot my 163. So, hopefully, he lets me do that. Otherwise, we're dragging this Joker 600 yards to the truck. And uh, this is the first time I'm going to put my hands on him. And. Uh, just a big eight point baby. Oh my, look at that. He's got a broken, he's got, oh look at them beams. He's got a broken uh, brow tine. Oh man, look at that joker. Don't mind that arrow, that was, that was the arrow that I put him out of his misery with. Let's pull that up. Here's my other arrow that he broke. Look at that joker. Just big beams. Not very tall of tines, but just big sweeping beams, baby. Oh my. I will take it. He will look good on the wall. Yes. Let's go. Now we gotta put everybody else on a deer. Oh man, look at them beams. Oh my. Just sweeping beams. He's got, he's so cool, broken brow time. Man. Oh. By all means. And I know I said this in the tree, but I'm not that kind of person that's, oh, it's not the biggest buck in the world, but I'm, I'm ha honestly, there are a lot bigger deer on this property, but I have learned that the first deer that makes you excited and as long as you're happy with him shoot him everybody's tied up in this inches game nowadays where if it's not 200 inches you're a nobody a mature deer like this if he's mature shoot him if he's not mature and it makes you happy shoot him who cares we gotta we gotta get out of this 200 inch you know it's only got to be a monster thing i mean who cares be happy last year humbled me and, and and by all means I'm not ranting last year humbled me because I was that way I thought man if it wasn't you know 160 or bigger it was nothing and there uh, you just let countless good deer walk like this right here who's gonna let that sucker walk just giant main beams oh my look at that sweeping beam just a big old head on him. Just a big deer. Oh my. Let's go. 
Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious, baby. Oh, all right, so this deer made me excited. When, when I seen him up on top, the sunlight just hitting his rack. That's the best part. If he gets you excited, that's all that matters. That's all that matters is if he gets you excited. So he got me excited and he got an arrow. Just plain as day, plain as day. Now, now it's time to go get everybody else on one. Man, is he nice. So happy. So happy, so happy. Nice deer. Nice deer. All right. Time to call everybody. All right. Got Pops, my brother. The old tracking team. But this year we don't have to go very far. So we'll go get them. Well, we got him gutted. Got my tag on him. Right here. That's a little rubber band on it. Got my tag on him. So, beautiful Ohio 8 point. Might be going out of state now, so. Got a whole another week off. You guys just gonna help me, or? Yeah. Well, we didn't know what you were doing. <laughs> I just took the camera off. Until you got the done. keys, filming and stuff. We didn't know what the heck you were doing. I got it. Okay. All right, let's take them home. <laughs>